Welcome to Catch You Can, we're in the salmon capital of the world. So these guys are totem poles, which represents and commemorates Alaska's ancestry, history, religion, and uh, major events. We are here at the uh, Creek Street and um, it's quite a unique setup here. They have colorful houses on top of the uh, creek and on some locations you will actually see some salmons here escaping the uh, hatchery which is down there and there is a uh, statue of salmon just over there i don't know if you guys can see that zoom it zoom it zoom it right there Star House back in circa well circa 1902 so this part of Creek Street right here is synonymous to the uh, red light district in Amsterdam but obviously right now they turn it into shops museum and restaurants This house, ladies and gentlemen, one of the uh, longest working resident is Miss Dolly Arthur. Called <laughs> <laughs> the National Reserve up there. Reserve. It's in like the center north part of the city. Come here, come here. Let's marry them. They want to have fun too. It's ten dollars for the tour. <laughs> it takes you about 15 minutes and we go on the break. Okay. Everybody, can we take video? You can video or okay. take pictures all the way I'll through. I do not have a credit card machine, so it's cash only. Oh, just like Dolly's day. $100. She had it decorated the way it is and she went into business. It took her two weeks to pay this house off. You can two see how busy weeks. she was. Two weeks. That's some good oh. business right there, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> two weeks paid off. Wow. Well, Gee. what year was that, madam? 1919. When 1919. Okay. Oh. 1919. 1919. Now, alcohol was illegal. Yes, Everybody I was going to say. Everybody was yeah. making their own. And sometimes if you drank the stuff these guys made, you didn't feel well at all. If you died one of these houses from it, the girls didn't care. They'd pick your pocket and just toss you in the creek. Oh, you wow. were someone else's problem. Oh. Dolly, she's uh, smuggling Canadian liquor. She let the men know she had something good and half the town would show.
You'll all eventually cook by electricity, so why not? So this paper works right here, dates back to 1920. Wow. So just about a half a mile walk from uh, downtown is the uh, Totem Heritage Center. So we're going to check that out. and see what they have here. Okay, so if you guys were to check this place out, the entrance or admission fee is $6 for adults, children, military, and local residents get to go in for free. Okay, so let's go. This is probably the last place that we are going to. Um, visit right now and then we'll spend the rest of our time here in uh, downtown just shopping for souvenirs and maybe salmon It all depends what the tree says. So they follow with the grain, they follow with the texture. And the tree itself to make sure it's nice and straight. Because some trees can kind of get twisted with the winds. Yeah. Because our wind here could easily get up to 90 yes, to 100 yeah. miles an hour. I see. Okay, and they can grow up to how many years? Oh, yes. Like hundreds? The trees itself? Yeah. Yeah, so they could grow up quite a few decades. And do you have like an area where you take them or you, you know, pick the trees out? It all depends on the carver himself and who's ordering the totem pole. So if they want to go out and search together and say, okay, I want to go with you to look for the, the tree that you're going to use. Or usually they say it's up to the carver and they'll help the carver get the tree. So it's basically knowing the surroundings, knowing what area you're going to go into. And nowadays you have to follow the government guidelines. So basically guys, the uh, port is, or, the sh or the ship, this dock is just right over there. And if you fancy watching a lumberjack show, it's just right up here at the uh, main street. If you guys are looking for some souvenirs, some goodies to take home with you, check out Salmon Landing, great Alaskan souvenir shop. You get this tree for free, and it has Ketchikan Alaska on it. Usually they would charge you for this, but it's free. Bye Alaska!